What up, TLB fan? So today we're gonna answer a question that we get asked all the time. How do I get abs? So we're gonna show you guys a core circuit that we do with the medicine ball, and also we're gonna show you guys a couple other things as well. Yeah, so the three main things we wanna focus on when trying to trim down and get a six pack or get abs is diet, cardio, and core exercises. So today we're gonna to show you guys an ab circuit that we do with the medicine ball. We're also gonna go over some diet tips, some things me and Josh eat, and then we're gonna go over some things that you can be doing before and after your workouts, cardio-wise. So let's ah, get it. Ab circuit, you want some abs? I'm about to show you how to get it right now. Abs like Josh. Alright guys, so let's get started. We got four different variations of 10 reps using the medicine ball. Now once you've complete four different variations, that equals one round. We got three rounds of this. Alright, so our first variation, we got sit-ups. Now, you can use any pound medicine ball that you have that's going to challenge you. This is a 20 pound medicine ball. I'm going all the way down and then coming all the way up using my cooler. Remember, we got 10 reps of this, guys. Each variation is 10 reps. Every time I come up, I'm squeezing my core as hard as I can. Really getting the focus there. So he's breathing once he comes up and squeezes his core. Seven, seven, eight, yep. Alright, so immediately after you finish your sit-ups, you're gonna go into a throw, a toss back and forth between your partner. Now the most important thing here is you keep your core tight, but your feet are elevated the whole time. Do not let them touch the ground. And you're throwing the ball, you know, pretty much as hard as you can back and forth. 10 reps. Here we go. So immediately, right into the side twist. Feet up as well. 10 reps. That completes the four different variations and that completes one round. Now we got three rounds of this. All right, guys, just wrapped up a couple rounds of that. Like we said, we're doing three rounds total. Now, the better you get at this, the less break, the less breaks you want to take. So, you want to do three rounds like continuous. As soon as you finish your first set, go right back into the first exercise of the next set. Do three rounds. Try to go continuous. Challenge yourself. Also, I'm keeping my feet up the whole time. Try not to let the ball bring your momentum back. That's why we're stabilizing the core, keeping it here. You know, uh, tell your partner to challenge you as well. You know, maybe throw it a little bit harder. You can throw the ball harder as well. Also, on the, uh, the side twist, I'm not letting the ball hit the ground because the momentum will bring it down like this. So I'm keeping my core tight and I'm holding the ball, letting it hover like over the ground like this and then throwing it back. So I'm emphasizing like the oblique area with that. You know, if you let the ball hit the ground, you get momentum, you know, hitting it off the ground and stuff. So just a quick little couple tips. Um, Put in work, man. Abs, no joke, stay consistent with it. Uh, we're gonna talk about diet and cardio exercises as well. All right, so now that we went over ab circuit that you guys can do, we're gonna go over the second part of this video, which is diet. And diet is the most important thing that you guys should be focused on when trying to trim down and, and, and get a six pack or get abs. So um, me, Josh and I are just gonna go over some things that we eat breakfast uh, and throughout the day, and also some things that we get at the grocery store. Um, main thing for my breakfast, I just eat egg whites and um, oatmeal, and that's a pretty good meal for me. And then whatever I had meal prep throughout that day, my go-to meals are basmati rice and ground turkey, 
or pasta and, chi and skinless boneless chicken breast or um, sweet potatoes and, and chicken. So those are, those are my two go-to meals. You guys want to make sure that you guys are cautious of the carbs because pasta has a lot of carbs, rice has a lot of carbs in it, and potatoes as well. So just be cautious of the carbs that you guys are intaking. Make sure you guys keep them low if you guys want to trim down. Yeah, um, my meals are a little bit different from Ant's because uh, I'm vegetarian. Um, I still eat fish here and there, uh, salmon. I, I like eating salmon. I have shrimp here and there. Um, a lot of my diet is like a lot of beans and stuff, a lot of vegetables, a lot of beans. So for breakfast, I'll have um, eggs. I still eat eggs as well. I have eggs um, and a protein shake. And the, and the protein shake, you know, I combine a bunch of fruits and um, some vegetables as well, combine them all together, uh, throw plant-based protein in there. Um, so that'll be like my breakfast. For lunch, I'll do, sometimes I'll have salmon, maybe some potatoes. Um, other times I'll have like a big rice bowl mix. So I have rice, black beans, pinto beans, garbanzo beans and uh you know corn and vegetables and spinach all combined into one bowl and um i have to get like my protein from other sources that you know outside of chicken outside of ground turkey and stuff like that so uh, my, my meals are a little more like customized i have to do a little bit of extra stuff to get that but uh it's all fun it's all cool so uh, we have breakfast lunch um dinner you know i have maybe a veggie burger a black bean burger and some rice or some pasta um and yeah, man, just there's a bunch of things you can do. There's a bunch of meals you can eat. You just you can do some research on it as well. Um, you know, like uh, shred uh, in our programs as well. We have meal plans, so you can follow those. They're like generic meal plans, and we have a lot of options, so it doesn't get too boring. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of things you can do. There's also things that you need to watch out for as well. So yeah, so sugars, thing, yeah, sugars, uh, sodium, yeah, uh, calories, uh, and like we said, the carb intake. Um, what else? Um, we don't drink any soda yes, uh, or juice, we, we, we just drink water, so water is good throughout the day. And, and snacks, we don't really snack. If we do snack, it's like Josh said, we, we eat fruit and, um, and you know, a snack is like an oatmeal or something. Um, what else? Um, for snacks, I have like trail mix. I get this trail mix from Trader Joe's. It's just uh, almonds and dark chocolate. That's like a good snack for me. Um, fruit as well grapes cantaloupe apples oranges um also uh i've, I've been into the organic cereal <laughs> it's pretty yeah that's bad. another thing that's another thing we watch out for yeah. is you guys got make sure you guys are reading the ingredients and the labels because yes. there's a lot of like processed foods out there and uh josh and i and, and willie as well and our whole team actually which is all organic stuff so we can't we got to watch out for all the chemicals because these companies are trying to kill us so make sure you guys are, are watching out um, and reading the labels and, and really finding out what you guys are putting into your body. Exactly. Because your, your body's your temple, your body's everything. So. Yeah, a lot of, mo majority of products that we do have, um, you know, they all have, say, non-GMO, um, no artificial flavors, no artificial colors. Uh, you know, even sometimes organic products, they'll say organic or all natural, but then it'll say made with genetic engineering. So you also got to be careful of that because, um, these companies, you know, they're able to do that. They're able to call something organic if there's one or two organic ingredients in these things. But the whole product isn't organic. Yeah. Now, if it's non-GMO and it has the label on it, then you know that, you know, you're getting the right thing. So we're very cautious of that. And yeah, man. And we do go out to eat as well. And when we do go out to eat, um, you know, we just, we try to get the healthy options on the menu, whether it be, uh, you know, rice, salmon, maybe, uh, Every time we get fries or something, we'll go to sweet potato fries. That's not too often, maybe like once, twice a week. Um, and we just, you know, it's not too strict. We're not macro counting. Yeah, we're not doing that stuff. We're just trying to eat as healthy as we can, trying to eat as much as we can. While and putting in the work, doing exactly. our core exercises, doing exactly. our cardio, staying active. All right, guys, so we wrapped up talking about the diet. Now we're gonna get on to cardio. Um, so for like a typical cardio session, you know, you can do 15 to 20 minutes before your workout, after your workout, you can do both. Um, the cardio we like to do is, you know, very intense. We do jumping, um, you know, all the crazy videos you guys see, that's like our cardio. So you guys can do the same thing or you can do more depending on your goal. Um, you know, you can do like a typical 10 minute type of session where it's like really intense, you're, you're can't breathe, you know, you're dripping sweat and stuff like that, you can do that or you can do like, you know, the stairs and stuff, which is 20, 30 minutes and that's just like steady state cardio type of stuff. So you can switch it up and do different things. 
All right, so you guys wanna make sure you're hitting cardio three to five times a week, along with core three to five times a week. And uh, that right there, along with the diet, is the guide to six pack abs, trimming down, getting ripped, getting cut. So that right there, those three things, diet, cardio, and core, DCC, you already know, DCC. Let's get it, man, it's the lowest breed. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn on post notifications so you guys do not miss anytime we upload a YouTube video. Let's get it, man. See how a family thing. Got y'all, baby. I didn't even see that. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs>